In this video, we cover the new SAS changes that come into effect from the 6th of April 2023. We're going to cover the investment capital raise increase, the investor limit increase, age limit increase, gross assets uh, increase, and also, for those who stay to the end, there's some bonus planning ideas for you. So, good news that the changes have stayed since Liz Truss's and Kwasi Kwarteng's ill-fated mini-budget. Uh, pretty much everything else has changed, but it seems so far these things, uh, this, the SES changes have remained for Seed Enterprise Investment Scheme. So it looks like Rishi Sunak and Jeremy Hunt are both quite keen on it, which is great news for UK startups. So bear in mind throughout all this that these changes are scheduled to come into effect from the 6th of April 2023. So when I record this early February 2023, they're not enacted yet. The old rules still apply at the moment. So kicking off first with the investment capital raise increase. We're going to see an increase to £250,000. So that's the total amount that a company can raise under the SAS scheme. Currently, it's 150 k so quite a substantial increase. And 150 k was the limit that came in when the SAS uh, relief came into effect in 2012, in 2012 uh, which it hadn't changed for years. After 10 years, inflation, etc., it wasn't quite enough. So to see that increase to £250,000 is very welcome. Now, you can raise cash under EIS uh, once you exhaust the current 150 and soon to be 250,000 pound limit but it just means that uh, you know for a lot of companies who want to get the SES round done it just lets them go a lot lot further with this because they can raise more cash okay next on to the investment lim the investor limit increase so business angels all of us we have a annual allowance we can invest into SES qualifying companies uh, it was previously 100,000 pounds that you could invest per tax year running so 5th of April to, uh, every year to the next 5th of April every year is a tax year. Uh, it increases to £200,000 from 6th of April 2023. So investors can get 50% income tax relief on that if they've got sufficient income tax liability of 100k uh, from the pre current tax year or the previous tax year, then that's great news and it again, it gets frees up more cash uh, to invest in startups for those who've got that discretionary uh, cash that they can invest into SAS companies and obviously spread around more companies potentially as well which is again great news. Age limit increase, again this is one thing where I kind of get a lot of confusion around this, SES is for early stage companies and you know, the clues in the word seed enterprise investment scheme. Uh, the current rules allow for two years so you shouldn't be trading for more than two years. Once you've been trading for more than two years you fall outside SES. It's going to go up to three years uh, from 6th of April 2023 again so it's kind of it gives more runway for companies to consider uh, SES as a potential funding mechanism for them. Just point to note, it's from the date of trading. This runs not from the date of incorporation. So you can have a company that's incorporated many years ago, been dormant, done nothing, and then uh, it raises as it also raises cash in SES. As long as it hasn't been trading, that's fine. Uh, gross assets test again, a bit of a technical point here, but you've got to um, consider the total assets in the company at the time the shares are issued. Uh, previous rule has been two hundred thousand pounds. It's going up to three hundred fifty k. Um, it's you, you do this test total assets as they say at the time of the share issue. Where you sometimes see problems with this is if you've got funding coming in from elsewhere around the same time. So you might be getting, you know, your uh, SES cash coming in, but you're also getting some maybe some bank funding, some VC funding at the same time. And there's sometimes been problems where if that bank funding, VC funding has come in beforehand, your assets are over the two hundred k as the current rules are, and you've got a problem for the SES. So just uh, watch out for that one. But again, so it just increases scope for companies. It's a welcome addition uh, increase. Finally, you know, companies are looking at this, thinking it's great news, but I want to get going now. This bonus tax planning point is something you could you could look at with caution. Uh, and this is because the rules don't kick in until 6th of April 2023. Companies might want to raise the cash now and raise go, go for the extended amount be above, above and beyond the 150k. Uh, so looking to raise, say, 250k. They could look at using the Advanced Subscription Agreements, ASAs, and I'm not a big fan of these personally because I think they add more complexity on top of complexity, but for companies that are really uh, cash strapped and need to look at this very urgently, it's something you could look at. So basically how they work is the investors put the cash in now, you don't issue the shares yet, you have an ASA agreement in place which basically says that the cash is non-refundable and there's a long stop of uh, usually six months uh, to be HMRC compliant um, on the ASA, on the ASA. Um, and therefore, you just you start using the cash now, but then you don't you don't issue the shares until after the sixth of April, twenty twenty three, when the new rules are then in place. 
bit risky, not too sure about it, but just be aware of it. It's something you can certainly explore uh, as a potential opportunity there. Okay, so that covers the new changes to come into effect from 6th of April 2023 for the Seed Enterprise Investment Scheme. My name is Steve Livingston. You can find me at IP Tax Solutions. I hope you found that useful. Thanks for watching.